food interview action. Simon and Martina couple came to Korea with dreams to be ordinary English teachers. And they made videos of themselves to send to their families back in Canada. And one day, they decided to make a blog called eatyourkimchi.com. About 30,000 visitors from around the world click on their blog. and They learn about Korean food, culture, language, education system, as well as K-pop news, all from videos made by Simon and Martina. Why did they decide to blog about Korean food and culture? Let's ask them in person on today's Heart to Heart. Hello and welcome to Heart to Heart. I'm your host, Lee So Jung. Uh, there's probably a no better way to learn about a country than at the table because food is a manifestation of a culture and its traditions. Whether it be the smell of a warm bagel on a New York street or the smell of fresh kimchi in residential areas of Seoul, food seems to be what we, rem what we remember the most from our travels. Uh, today on our Heart to Heart, uh, we invite a couple from Canada who have been putting their time and effort into popularizing uh, Korean culture and Korean food through their blog called eatyourkimchi.com. Please welcome Simon and Martina from Canada. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much for having us. Eatyourkimchi.com. That mm -hmm. sounds very interesting. Who came up with the name? Mm. That's difficult to say. Yeah. We discussed it for very many hours. Uh -huh. uh, we had many ideas. We had a huge list of names. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mm -hmm. bet. Yeah. Because nowadays, just about everyone has their own blogs. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. So you want to have a very catchy uh, But we name. wanted something that would also kind of like capture Korean culture, uh -huh. but be also a little bit clever and then mm. something you could remember. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we went through this huge massive list and then finally we decided upon Eat Your Kimchi. That's right. Uh -huh. mm. Where did it derive from? Because it sounds very familiar. Uh -huh. Like eat your vegetables type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Well, well the idea exactly was that, right. um, like I remember when I was growing up as a kid, mm -hmm. um, whenever you had dinner, you'd have your meat and mm -hmm. you have your potatoes and then you have your veggies. And you never want to eat your veggies, right? Because they're yeah. boring. So then your mother would say, well, you can't leave until you eat your veggies because mm. they're good for you. Mm. Uh, so we kind of played off of that. So eat your veggies went into eat your kimchi because it's good for you. Yeah. Mm. So literal translation would be like eat your kimchi, it's good for you. But yeah. it sounds like to me, uh, Korea is wonderful. Come and experience. Yes. It's because uh -huh. it's good for you. So the play that we wanted to have on it is that um, mm. eat your kimchi is kind of like your daily vegetables. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like your daily dose of Korea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So something positive because our, our blog is very positive mindset for Korea. Mm -hmm. So we wanted it to be like, this is good for your health. Kimchi, of course, is, mm -hmm. you know, such a huge popular thing in Korea. Yes, it is. <laughs> and it's supposed to be able to cure everything. Uh -huh. So we kind of wanted the kimchi to be like representative of our, of our blog and our positive mm. ideas and stuff. Yeah. At first, yeah. I thought uh, this blog must be containing only information regarding kimchi, but this mm -hmm. is not. That, yeah. That's the case. Yeah, yeah that a, a lot of sometimes. people do come to our site asking for the kimchi recipes, <laughs> and we don't have any kimchi recipes yet. <laughs> I can uh. make kimchi john. Yes. And, and kimchi chige, right. but you know. Uh -huh. Do you get to enjoy kimchi? Oh, absolutely. Oh, we love it. Yeah. Uh, still to this day, like I've mm -hmm. been eating it long before I came to Korea. Mm -hmm. um, like I used to work in um, Koreatown in Toronto, mm. and every week I'd have lunch with my boss, mm. and we'd have kimchi with every meal, and mm. I loved it then, and I loved really? it still. It's kind of like sauerkraut. Isn't yeah, it? it is. Yeah. Also, I like my family's from Poland, mm -hmm. uh, so like in in Poland we have a, a bigots, which is like a warm kind of cabbage. Mm -hmm. Uh, with like a tomatoey sauce. So when I tasted warm kimchi, I remembered my childhood a lot mm -hmm. as well. So. You broke out into Polish. Yes. Like, oh, this is awkward. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, let's see, kimchi. I said in the beginning of the, the introduction, food is a manifestation of a culture. Do mm -hmm. you think that kimchi represents Korea or what do you think? Well, I think whenever you think about Korean food, the first thing that pops into your mind is, mm -hmm. is kimchi. And, and that's what's being spread a lot more, so mm -hmm. but, definitely. But I see, I personally don't know if it represents Korea because it's kind of like kimchi is the bread of North America. Mm -hmm. Like we have bread with every meal or mm -hmm. buns on the table. Korea has kimchi. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like um, representative of, I think, like older, older school, older generation Koreans mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. a lot of my friends now, they have no idea how to make kimchi. Mm -hmm. And their mom has no idea how to make kimchi. It's only mm -hmm. their grandmother. Mm -hmm. So it's a part of their everyday life, but it doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily represent Korean culture because Korean culture is so modern mm -hmm. and like really quickly moving forward. Yeah, yeah. so it's kind of like 
traditional Korean meets new Korea. Mm -hmm. You can have When did you start the blog in the first place? How long ago was that? Um, on our very first day in Korea, uh, mm. we started. So that was, I think, May 31st, 2008. Mm. Yeah. Why did you start? Um, we started initially um, because our parents were very worried mm -hmm. uh, when we were about to come to Korea. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think like two days before we got on the airplane to mm. Korea, um, there was a promise from North Korea saying mm. that they're going to cover South Korea in an ocean of fire. Yeah, mm. that's the exact quote. It was really? the exact quote. I remember it to this day and it was yeah. quite scary. So we thought that we have to keep a blog to let our families know that we're okay. You know, mm. we're not bombed. We're mm. surviving. And then after a, a couple of more months, there was a, a new quote with a new thread, and then eventually we got mm. used to it. So yeah. uh, now it's less um, a status update for our parents and more just a passion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you guys started for, just for the fun of it, just to keep a record of your daily lives in Korea, but it was actually to comfort your parents that you guys are okay. Yeah. Yes. Well, we wanted to show them, you know, that Korea, because, huh. you know, it's not, there's not a lot of things about Korea in, in the news that mm -hmm. aren't like about North Korea, it right. seems, right? right? Mm -hmm. Or like maybe Kimuna uh, or other things like that. So right. our parents didn't know anything about it. Uh -huh. Even though we had read so many books and read mm -hmm. about it, we knew Korea is okay. Uh -huh. But they had no idea what it was like. So yeah. we just wanted to show them, hey guys, take a look at Korea. Uh -huh. It's great. Now your parents were worried about your your coming here to Korea. But yes. how did you guys um, how did you guys think about your decision to come to Korea? Were you worried? Did you have any fear? I was excited. Nervous? Oh, we just were excited. totally excited. Yeah, oh. we, yeah, we jumped right all, all over the opportunity because we were really interested in Korean culture before mm -hmm. we came here. Mm -hmm. uh, so when the opportunity presented itself for us to come here and teach, we're like, this is fantastic. Mm. It's our two passions, mm -hmm. you know, Korea and teaching. So why not? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So you're here to teach? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, originally, that's what we came here for. Mm -hmm. uh, I no longer teach, but Martina still does. Yeah. We're actually both teachers in Canada as well. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we taught high school in Canada and mm -hmm. then we came here. So. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's talk more about your blog. What does it contain, other than, other than some of the information about kimchi and where mm -hmm. to go in Seoul? Uh -huh. Well, um, it's a video blog, mm -hmm. so uh, we try to focus majority of our time on the videos themselves, mm -hmm. and we try to do like all types of daily life. So it mm -hmm. can be from K-pop to mm -hmm. table bells mm -hmm. to what other things? Korean food to like. Korean coffee shops. How to use your rice cooker, right. how to use your washing machine. How to get your hair cut, just mm. like everyday life in Korea. F because a lot of people are moving to Korea and they're mm -hmm. very you know, interested in what to do. So right. we're trying to help them out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I said, um, just about everyone has their own blogs these days. Yes. And they usually have lots of photos with lots of writings. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you decided to put a lot of videos on your blog. That's right. And mm -hmm. that must have taken, that must take a lot of Time. Yes, the yes. transition was quite <laughs> difficult. And editing itself, it takes a lot of time oh, it, too. Oh, it yeah, takes forever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I like for our music Mondays alone, mm -hmm. um, scripting takes maybe two or three hours, mm -hmm. and then filming takes another two or three hours. Mm -hmm. But then, like putting the files onto the computer because we're shooting in HD right. now, and editing all the files takes another eight hours, 12 hours on top of that. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday, we were working on our music Mondays, and we pretty much worked on it from 10 a.m. until hmm. midnight. Yeah. Music Mondays. Music yeah. Mondays, yes. What does it, I mean, so about Korean pop culture? Yes. Yeah. So we do a, a K-pop, the most popular K-pop really? song of the week, mm -hmm. and um, our hmm. viewers vote on it. Uh -huh. So we get flooded with email requests I demanding see. Big Bang or no, mm -hmm. not the Big Bang, Super Junior this week, and they right. get in like these arguments with each other, uh -huh. and then we choose the top song, and then we do like a review of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who comes to your website the most? Is it is it mostly visitors or foreigners living outside or Koreans who want to learn English? Or? Well, according mm -hmm. to like the charts, our, our biggest demographic is from America, Really, uh, right. in fact. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a vast majority of it is um, American girls, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. believe it or not. We scold our Canadian friends. Yes. <laughs> they, they're, they're now, Canada was originally second place and uh -huh. it got bumped down. They're so like fourth or fifth yeah, place now. Yeah, USA took over Singapore. Uh, Singapore is going really high really? up there as well. Yes. Surprisingly. Wow. And how do they find out about your blog? That's what I want to know. Um, well, <laughs> I, have no idea. I think um, like one of the reasons why we switched over to video uh -huh. uh, instead of like pictures mm -hmm. or written posts is because video is so much easier to share. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it has like a viral quality to it. Like mm -hmm. you never hear about like viral pictures or, or viral writing. Like people want to share videos. Mm -hmm. And the good thing with like working for like YouTube and making videos there is that you could like the video, you could tweet about it, you could put mm -hmm. it on Facebook and it's, it's so easy to spread. Mm -hmm. And we just get lucky that one person spreads it to a friend who mm -hmm. spreads it to mm -hmm. another friend. And then eventually through the grapevine people come to our site. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also we heard that, uh, and I'm really surprised about this, that a lot of uh, teachers are showing our videos to their students in Korea mm -hmm. uh -huh. to kind of say like, 
like, look, this is a foreign perspective on K-pop, mm. or and uh -huh. now we have Korean subtitles as well. Mm. Uh -huh. So it's starting to spread that way as well. Mm. Right. I have my own personal opinions on who would probably make it big in Western countries when it comes to K-pop. Oh What's your opinion on some of the Korean singers? I know who Who's I your think favorite? Like, like both of us agree on yeah. this for sure. Mm. Yeah. Um, we are really impressed with um, YG Entertainment. Uh, mm -hmm. Like their label, like 21 and Big Bang, mm -hmm. uh, we think that they're they're made for it. Like they are really? like the perfect quality. Yeah. But uh -huh. I, I frankly think only 21 and Big Bang could make it uh -huh. so far. Only? Yes, mm -hmm. because um, like Girls' Generation, even though mm -hmm. they're really popular in Korea. Mm -hmm. they, and Japan. Yeah, and, and Japan, yes. Uh -huh. They only have like, they don't have a particular personality that stands out. Uh -huh. I see. And North America does not like that. Like uh -huh. you don't want a big group of girls that have no personality mm. that just have like particular, like she's got the legs and she's mm. got the face. Uh -huh. It doesn't really do anything. Uh -huh. They want someone they can um, represent them. So uh -huh. like if you look at CL or Minji, you're like, oh, mm. CL's amazing. She's so okay. sassy, okay. you know? Okay, gotcha. Like people can yeah. relate to them more like huh. on an individual basis. Yeah. And we mm. think that they do like a very good job of like appealing to different categories yeah. that way. And Big Bang's the same. We do have some great vocalists as well. What do you think of like Ehudi or some of the fashionable uh, singers mm -hmm. who are doing solo works? Yeah, well, mm -hmm. Hyori I love. Mm -hmm. uh, I really love her. I think she's like, mm -hmm. she's bending all like the fashion rules. She reminds me of G-Dragon <laughs> that way. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, but I heard that there was some controversy with her last album. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, so uh -huh. I think she has to get over that and mm -hmm. then maybe her next album she could gotcha. start well, Like finding. my favorite singer, um, in terms of being fashionable, like I'm really fond of Gaiin. Uh, from mm -hmm. Brown Eyed Girls. Mm -hmm. I think she's absolutely fantastic and mm. I'd love to see her do more songs and videos. Yeah, like, irreversible you loved. Oh yeah, like every month a new video from her. That'd yeah. be great. Mm. Yeah. Uh, a friend of yours uh, had a special question for you. Did you guys know that? Oh. I don't know so the question. We have, we have it ready in videos. Uh, okay. Let's have a listen. Okay. Really? All right. Ms. Hwang Song Bok has a special relation with Martina and Simon couple. She remembers her first impression of Martina when she came to her school as the new English teacher. She was so tall. Yeah, now I know she is tall now too, but she was very tall. And she is so smart and witty. She is a really good teacher. You know, oh, she is always, you know, passionate and she prepares a lot. Oh, wow, you know, really, you cannot believe me. Oh, she prepares a lot, maybe tons of materials that she has. Now she has a question for the couple who is about to start a new journey in their lives. Martina, I have a question for you. Do you have any idea to have a child stay more? and settle down. <laughs> She's we always bugging a lot. me, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. as well, yeah. Uh -huh. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, oh boy. Well, we uh -huh. have a dog. Mm -hmm. Spudgy. 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 Yeah, he's our little furry child. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Um, we do, we won't have kids eventually, mm -hmm. but right now we're just, we're really happy being married. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're How long have you been married for? Um, it's as in June, it'll be four years. Mm. Yeah, but uh -huh. it still kind of feels like we're dating. I know. I don't really feel like, you know, oh, I'm married and like oh, my old, old husband. Chain, no. I don't feel that way. Like so. we're, we're best friends, so yeah. it, it seems less like we're married and more like we're just mm. having fun. Yeah, and then we're worried, you know, if we have a child, then uh -huh. we have to put our focus on our child. Uh -huh. And then we couldn't focus as much on our dog or our blog or... Mm -hmm. So maybe we're not ready yet, I think. Mm -hmm. And also right now we're in a bit of a transitional period, mm -hmm. uh, going from like teaching into full-time blogging. So we'd right. like to settle down with that first before mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. actually bring another human into the earth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. yeah. uh, but we definitely would want to have children in the future. We're thinking maybe 30 years old or so, 30-ish. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Which is maybe two, three years from now? Three, oh, yes. oh, don't oh. say that. Oh, okay. okay, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this next question. Uh, you said you were a teacher, but you're going into becoming a full-time blogger. That's right. How did that happen? Um, well, as of July, uh, mm -hmm. I stopped teaching, and I started dedicating all of my efforts into mm -hmm. the website and editing videos full-time and trying to create new content that way. Mm -hmm. um, so my contract had just expired, mm -hmm. and... Um, I, I thought that, you know, with the growing popularity of the site, we might be able to actually do this mm -hmm. as a living. Mm -hmm. I see. And I, you know, like, one teacher's salary is enough for us to get by. Mm -hmm. uh, so I figured, you know, we're going to tighten our belts for a year and see if we could make I this see. grow. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that I think by the end of the year, mm -hmm. we'll be able to fully 
survive off of mm. blogging. And Shin Ramyun. And Shin Ramyun, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you, um, who's funding for the blog? Oh, no one's funding. It's uh -huh. just um, from YouTube. Mm -hmm. yeah. We became partners. I see. And so we get some advertisements on our, mm. on our, mm -hmm. our totally our own. Like we have to uh -huh. use our own music our own video content, mm. that kind of thing. So whenever we, we create a video and you watch a video, you'll see a little mm -hmm. ad at the bottom of it I and see. ad on the side, and we generate revenue off of that. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. You've posted uh, a little more, much more than a few videos on yes. YouTube so far. How, mm -hmm. how many videos are there now? We're at around 200. We don't mm -hmm. know the exact number, mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's growing a lot yeah. very quickly. And we have archive footage as well, mm -hmm. uh -huh. which is embarrassing to look at. I know. When uh -huh. you look at the videos we do now compared to what we did when we first came here, it's really mm -hmm. quite embarrassing. Yeah. Oh. Like back back, back then, we had our little point-and-shoot camera, mm -hmm. and like, we're like, here I am eating Sundubu. Sundubu is great. You know? And, and now we actually invest a lot of money in getting a proper camera yeah. and proper lighting and tripods, you know, and, tripods and proper audio equipment. Mm. So there's a big transition into that. What started out as a, a mean to comfort your parents has become a very resourceful site for foreigners who are interested in getting to know Korea. Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel responsibilities now that you have to like come up with uh, really legitimate information for those who don't know much about Korea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, we do feel like we do feel a little bit of pressure when it comes to posting. Like mm -hmm. we we post twice a week minimum. Mm -hmm. um, we must. Like mm -hmm. Monday, if we miss our music Monday, like the upload time, something goes wrong with it. Mm -hmm. We get emails like crashing in, being mm -hmm. like, "Where's music Monday? What happened?" And <laughs> so we feel really like stressed out because of that. And mm -hmm. then um, the other video we do is just related to Korea somehow. So mm -hmm. we feel the pressure to post that other video, mm -hmm. and that it should be a little bit different than the Monday material. Mm -hmm. And if we don't do that, mm -hmm. we feel like you know mm -hmm. oh people will be let down mm -hmm. or feel you know mm -hmm. that kind of thing and also we really thrive off of people's requests mm -hmm. so we had like a lot of people ask us um, a few months ago like where do I get my haircut in Korea and mm -hmm. they just like we got a whole bunch of these emails so we said you know if people are asking these questions yeah. we uh -huh. should try to answer it for them so and you have a board. video about where to get your hair yes, done we, we just put that up. yes I saw this yeah, we, right. had to, we had to ask our salon to get permission from them and mm. uh -huh. yeah really uh, they're an amazing hair salon uh -huh. I heard that a fan of your website actually thanked you for giving all these useful information uh -huh. a lady from abroad actually oh, yes. uh, came across your website and uh -huh. collected some useful information uh -huh. off your blog and said right. you know thank you very much for well, all these yeah. We're, we're really quite lucky is that um, I think because we're recognizable, I, I blame it on the red hair. Um, mm, the but, chicken hair. Uh, like people do come up to us and mm. you know they thank us which is like always shocking mm, yeah. because we think we keep on thinking that we're in our own little bubble. Like we make videos because we, we like to. We like it. to make it's, videos. It's, it's fun yeah. you know and to think that other people are watching it and other people are enjoying it mm. and when they come into our lives and be like hey thank you they're like Wow. Yeah, it's mm. just really startling. Uh -huh. But it makes you feel like all warm and fuzzy. Mm. Definitely. Yeah, so whenever someone emails us and they're like, we saw you in Seoul, but I didn't say hi, oh, I was scared. I I'm like, why not? Why not? It would make our entire day. Uh -huh. So I, I would think that there's a moment, uh, like celebrity moments, where a stranger comes up to you in E10 one somewhere and say, hey, I know you, or yeah. I saw your website. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it happens, that happens sometimes, yeah. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. How long do you plan on staying in Korea? That's a very That's difficult a really question, question yeah. because every year, like we initially came here thinking it'll just be one year and then we'll go back. Yeah. And mm. then it became, okay, it'll just be two years and then we'll go back. And every year we keep on adding more <laughs> years extra, to that extra. list. So we, we never know. We know that we plan on staying uh, when Martina finishes teaching in June. We know we plan on staying at least for another year. Mm -hmm. mm. What happens after that, we're not sure. Mm. Yeah, maybe another country. Who knows? Mm. This is your first time living in Asia? That's correct. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. I, do you have any plans to go out to different uh, parts of Asia and start writing about their countries as well? Mm. Well, we think so, yeah. Yeah, we, mm -hmm. we had plans to go to Japan originally mm -hmm. because originally it was going to be Korea for mm -hmm. a year, Japan for a year, and traveling. Mm -hmm. But because we just fell in love with Korea, uh -huh. it was mm -hmm. impossible to leave. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But we are trying very hard to, you know, Mm. Try to move to another country, but it's very hard to do. I know. Mm. Yeah. You've been living in Korea for three years now, so there, I'm sure there's something that you would like to share with our viewers. Let's have a moment for Inside Talk. Um, I think one of the things that we, we discuss a lot actually is oh, yes. our, our K-pop music Mondays. Mm -hmm. So it's a really big part of our lives because mm -hmm. we spend a lot of time thinking about it and scripting for it. Mm -hmm. But it seems that um, K-pop, like Korean fans, are so passionate, mm. so passionate mm. about their bands. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people forget that a review mm. means positive 
and negative. Mm -hmm. So we haven't really gotten over the fact that some people will think that we hate the band. Mm. Right. Like really passionate fans will be mm. like, how could you say that about him? He's the best. <laughs> but we don't mean it. We don't mean that we hate them. Right. It's just our opinion that, mm. you know, this outfit doesn't look good on him mm -hmm. or this song isn't as good as their last song. Mm -hmm. But we just want people to know like a review mm -hmm. means you can have negative and positive. Mm -hmm. gotcha. And we don't hate them. We yeah. would never review them if we hated them. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't waste our time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. one of the things that's really surprising is how scary the Korean internet can be sometimes. Netizens. Netizens are very <laughs> right, right, right. passionate. It's good that you don't you guys don't read Korean. No we don't. We can't. That's a good thing. I know. <laughs> well no we, we, we can read Korean. Well we, 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 just... we can read it. We just don't understand mm. it fully. But, fully, um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But you can usually tell if it's negative or positive based on if it's polite or not. Like if mm. it says imnida or mm. yo, mm. I'm like, oh like I'll read it over. Mm. But if there's no polite ending, I'll be like, oh I'm scared I'm about kind this. Of suspicious. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to go with your blog? What else do you want to do with your blog? Mm. I think like our, our final life goal is we would love for this to be our permanent job. Mm -hmm. We would love to either stay mm. in Korea and mm -hmm. just film life in Korea mm -hmm. or different countries around the world. Mm -hmm. It would be incredible. Mm -hmm. And if we do have a family, then our family would mm -hmm. be involved with that as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just keeping making videos. Like our, our big goal was pretty much to be able to be our own bosses, mm -hmm. right? The idea that we won't have to wake up at a specific time and mm. answer to somebody and do something according to a deadline. We just create our own material. Mm -hmm. And like that freedom was really like the big goal, like the big mm -hmm. driving force uh, mm -hmm. for us this year. Yeah. And like, I think we're very close to that, mm. so. Almost. Almost. When, you, when <laughs> you first came to Korea, it was more like um, going into an open sea, but you guys were, you guys took that adventure as something very exciting mm -hmm. rather than a fearful one. Mm -hmm. uh, how long, ha how, how has it been so far? Oh, has it, it always been wonderful? Well, there are some occasional bad moments, mm -hmm. uh, but the thing is that I think the good over like balances is that even Over, a word? Overbalances. <laughs> Overbalances. <laughs> Overweighs. Over outweighs. There you okay. go. Outweighs. The good outweighs the bad. Yeah. Uh, so like, there's still so many things that are you know fresh to us and new to mm. us, and we always see them and we think, oh my gosh, we have to make mm. a video for this. And I think one of the things that we we always stress to new people that come mm. to Korea because you know when we first came here, we were mm. the new people, and mm. we met these veterans that were here for two years or three years, and mm. we're like, wow, three years in Korea, amazing, <laughs> back. Mm. right? And when we got to know them. We, we saw their attitude or if it was mm. positive or negative. Mm. And now that we're the people that have been here, not, not veterans yet, but mm. we've been here longer, mm. we see other people's perspectives. So gotcha. one thing that we always wanna mention to people is that if you have a bad experience in Korea, mm. that can be just from one person mm -hmm. or one situation. Right. Mm -hmm. It doesn't represent mm. Korea as a whole, mm -hmm. but it seems that people will feel that way because they're in a foreign country. Mm -hmm. They'll have one bad experience and they'll say, oh, I hate all of Korea. Mm -hmm. So we really don't like that attitude, right. which is why our blog is, uh, we try to keep a positive mm -hmm. mindset because mm -hmm. even if something happens to you, it can happen in your own country, mm -hmm. right? If you don't like your boss, it can happen in your own country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not Korea, mm -hmm. it's just that person or that situation. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I do have some foreign friends as well and they mm -hmm. end up spending so much time in Itaewon or some of the foreign um, areas yeah. that right. only foreigners go to, but yeah. Korea, there's more to offer than Itaewon. Yeah. So much more. Day, yeah. I know. Wow, yeah. yes. I know. And thank you for sharing your time with us and your story and um, hope you continue to have fun here in Korea. Thank, Thank you, you very much. We don't want to lose you to other Asian countries. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to hire us. That'd be great. We're make videos for you. All yeah. right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You can rewatch today's episode with Simon and Martina about their stories here in Korea on our Arirang webpage. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.